communication. All right, we just got to the house. We're installing on. We're gonna go say hi to the crew. So usually they roll up. They'll tell you in the interviews, but roll up around like seven o'clock or so. They'll talk to the homeowner, get them, you know, prep, confirm the design changes. They'll give you the details. We're gonna go say hi to the crew. They're rolling up and we'll go from there. When I first get here, I'll go talk with the customer and make sure the design all fits. Then I'll come back over here, I'll check all the material, make sure it's all here, call my project manager, confirm everything, and then hop up there and just start chalking out. So when you first get up here, first you're gonna tie off so you're safely up here, and then you're gonna chalk your panels out, and then you're gonna pre-drill once you get everything chalked. Your holes for your feet, tar around your circle or your drill hole, and then you put your feet down, and as soon as they stop or, or sink, that's when you stop. This first process of your drilling normally takes around 15 to 30 minutes just depends on how big your job is like this one today took about 10 and then you just start throwing your rail up and another, probably another 35 and then you start staging your panels up here and then you begin to lay while those guys are working on the roof this is jeremy We'll do uh, a day in the life of an electrician later. He's got the really technical job. We call him Sparkies. Getting all the inverter there and uh, routing it through the house with the conduit. What's up, Jeremy? Hello. Peace. <laughs> My name is Bennett Sims. Uh, I've been installing for about five years. Why have you stuck around doing this crazy job for five years? I honestly just like a lot of things in my life. It, if it's not full, then it doesn't feel right. So this is definitely something I just like to commit to because I feel like I'm doing something good for the world. I feel like I'm doing something good for myself and I feel like I'm constantly active and I feel like it's a really good gig to be in. So. What time do you usually leave your house? How long does it usually take to get to the job site? I'm the type of person who gets up right before we leave, so usually 5, 5.30 is when we're leaving. Not today, though. <laughs> Gotta sleep in a little bit. Uh, usually takes like six hours, though, to get one of these things done. I'd say an average one is about five or six hours. What time do you usually start and what time do you usually end? Try to get to the job sites by like seven to eight, just depending on how far. Start time at eight, I'd say finish time about two. Typically three hour drive home though, lately. Lately, yeah. What's the average uh, installer take home every year, you think? I'd say the average installer amongst our crew, if you were to average it, would make about $65,000 a year, 70. My name's Chandler. Chandler, how long have you been doing this for? Uh, about three months now. What's your favorite part of the job? Working uh, at your own pace and however fast you get it and learning something new every day. It's never the same thing every day, I guess you'd say. We get a new problems every day, which are great. You learn a lot and room for growth. I'd say that's my favorite part. What's your least favorite part of the job? The long days when we also the problems when we run into those 13 hour days, which get very tiring. How many 13 hour days do you have? Is it usually 13 hour or is it few and far between? Few and far between, which okay. which makes those days a little worse because we usually pretty good days and get done pretty soon, so. What time do you usually get done by? Between like three, two three. and three. So some, some days can be really long. Most days are pretty reasonable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What'd you do before this? Before this, I did rock and stucco. Do you feel like someone has to have a lot of training before coming into this or pretty much anybody can pick it up? I'd say pretty much anybody can pick it up that's ready uh, to learn new experiences and uh, pick up on something new as long as you're willing to learn, I guess. Pretty straightforward, but it's a lot of work, definitely. You look so stoic. You can at least smile a little bit. I got a bad RBI. I'm Cody Haynes. How long have you been doing this for? Oh, about a year and a half or so now. Why'd you decide to get into solar installation? Wanted out of my last job, wanted to do a manual labor job and work outside and travel the state and work. What's your favorite part of the job? Probably laying the panels. What's your least favorite part of the job? Staging the panels. What do you mean staging the panels? Putting them in a stack and then having to toss them up and then staging them on the roof. If say you're on a steeper roof, you gotta walk with them on that pitch and just not very fun. I'm Tennessee Nichols. I've been doing this since March of 2023, so about eight or nine months. Eight or nine months. So you're coming up on a year. Yeah, getting close. What's your uh, least favorite part of the job? Lifting the panels up from the roof. Okay, what's your favorite part of the job? Laying the panels. Laying the panels, that's your favorite part? Well, just the aftermath of just like stepping back and the satisfaction of seeing the work you did. Okay, that's that's the first. Who would you recommend for this job? 
Like somebody famous or like an old friend? Who's the ideal fit? Bennett, probably. Bennett's like the best. <laughs> if someone was looking to get into this, what type of people like do well in this environment? Oh, somebody who's got a little bit of like experience in the electrical field and somebody who kind of goes to the gym often. Okay, so there's, there's a physicality to yeah, it. Yeah, a little bit of a physicality. Okay, yeah. cool. All right, end of the day, what's the wrap up look like? Make sure we pick all our zip ties up, our excess trash, put it all on the bed, or nice and organized, and then hit the road once you strap the pallet. Nice. All right, that is the day in the life of an installer. So it's pretty straightforward. I will say those guys make a really hard job look really easy, but we are always hiring, always looking for top talent that wanna come work. I will say installers do very, very well. If you're looking for a labor job that pays well, I think usually for a year take home, someone's just starting out, probably pulling 50, $60,000 a year. I know that our guys that have been here for over a year, we have several that are into the six figure range. So it's definitely possible to hit that. They share their experience and see what, they see what it's like. So there's a link below. If you wanna apply, um, you can message us that you'd like an installer job um, via our website. But anyway, appreciate you following and uh, we're gonna go install some more solar.